I'm really not looking forward to this one. If I'm honest, I've been putting this one off just a little bit longer than really I should have done. A rose for you today that was supposed to have been reviewed by myself in 2022 and it actually failed to flower. Uh, now, if you've been following for a while and you've binged watched an awful lot of these reviews and there is around 90 to 100 of them now, I always try and bring you as an accurate account of my growing experience of a rose as possible. Uh, even if I'm struggling to get on with a particular variety, I always like to try and pick up on some characteristics that you yourself might actually find uh, interesting or beautiful, even if I'm finding the plant a little bit challenging. So I like to give you a nice, well-rounded opinion, if at all possible. And I always like to open the conversation with all of you if you have a difference of opinion, especially regarding health, vigour, the uh, general appearance of a rose and especially its fragrance. So if you disagree with me on this particular front, please, please do leave me a comment either on Instagram or on YouTube and I'll gladly talk uh, with you about your different experiences because it's very unusual that I will feel like this about a particular rose. The rose I'm going to talk to you about today is a climbing, an English climbing rose from David Austin and it's Bathsheba. Uh, this is here. I don't have a lot to, to bring you. This is pretty much all my plant has provided me with in three years. Three years is an awfully long time to wait for a plant to really get itself established. Now I know uh, we all have different growing experiences, but here in the North Lodge Cottage Garden, I'm mulching really, really heavily. I focus for the last five years very heavily on soil health and condition. All of my plants receive a massive amount of organic matter. They're all fully irrigated. They are treated like princes and princesses of the garden. This rose is, well, it just won't grow. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way of saying it. I have never experienced a rose quite like it. It is, uh, in my opinion and my growing experience, and this is just myself, so please do open the conversation with me. It is weak, it is feeble, it is slow growing, and in three years that I've had it in the ground, it was planted bare root three seasons ago. So it's now three and a half years it's been in the actual ground, and it would have been planted in the November three years ago. Uh, it's now a little over six feet tall, it has one cane, and has now in total produced two flowers. That is it. Now there's no denying that these particular two blooms are absolutely stunning. They are breathtakingly beautiful and I really do mean that. They are the most interesting apricot yellow colour. Uh, apricots ruffled in the centre, very much like the look uh, of Crown Princess Margarita. Very, very deeply heavy rosetted, a massive petal count, which makes them enchantingly beautiful. Shallow cupped on the sides which means the bowl is very nicely encased there in an outer ring of petals which are really attractive. They're beautifully soft lemon yellow on the outside giving the overall appearance very very pretty indeed but it's floppy. It's weak and as I said a second ago, it refuses to grow. No matter how much water I give it, no matter how much organic soil condition I give it, the thing just won't do anything. And if I'm honest, if it doesn't buck its ideas up next year, it is gonna be dug up and it is gonna head to the compost bin in the sky. But if you feel differently about Bathsheba from David Austin Roses, introduced in 2016, please do let me know. I found it, as I say, weak, floppy, refusing to grow, absolutely blighted with black spot in all three summers it's experienced so far and as I say it's very very unusual for a rose from David Austin Wheelhouse to suffer like this one but reading between the lines and having attended lots of shows where David Austin are exhibiting lots of their beautiful roses this is not a rose that I remember seeing anywhere in their displays over the last two or three years so I'm wondering whether it's being hid away just a little bit maybe it's a little problematic I don't know this is just my personal opinion but as I say having a attended Hampton Court, having attended Chelsea and other flower shows where they've exhibited lots and lots of roses. I haven't seen Bathsheba anywhere. And once again, I'm happily to be corrected on that. So if you've seen it and enjoyed it somewhere, please do let me know. Because I'm really wanting to love this rose. I've received so many messages from people that say they grow this and it is a huge performer from them. And they're really, really loving it. Now I have two spaces on the back of, the, of our cottage where we've done our addition uh, against uh, cedar wood, uh, which is now a lovely green gray blue color and this apricot colored bloom would look absolutely stunning against it but there's no way I'm wasting my hard-earned money on two more of these when I can't get the first one to grow but I do like to bring you a well-balanced uh, opinion but Bathsheba 
from David Austin Roses is supposed to be a short climber. It's supposed to reach around 10 feet, which is why I planted it at the base of a dead but standing um, uh, apple tree, um, as they irrigated with plenty, plenty of mulch. Um, but it's simply not growing. It's simply not doing anything at all. Very, very frustrating. Uh, it is enchantingly beautiful, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, and it does have a really wonderful fragrance, which lights my heart. You can see my face light up as I talk about the actual flower because it is resplendently beautiful. The name alone, Bathsheba, brings connotations of strong, powerful, heroic women uh, that are charging off into battle and breaking the, um, uh, you know, the wheelhouse and the constitution of everything and smashing apart everything and setting their own rules. But this rose, no, it's not doing it for me, I'm afraid. The fragrance is going to be somewhere in the region of a six star rating. So the fragrance is really, really good. That's six stars out of 10. It's a strong to medium mirth. And by mirth, we're saying it's a warm, rich fragrance uh, with notes of sort of sandalwood and uh, cloves and spice, all of those warm um, fragrances you get with that. It's a very, very pretty, but I'd like to know your opinions. If you have a different growing experience of Bathsheba from David Austin Roses, bred and introduced in 2016, I'm really hoping that I've got myself a Friday afternoon plant, a duff one that really needs to be moved on and replaced with something more vigorous. But for me, Bathsheba is simply not cutting the mustard. And even with the amount of space I've got growing over 300 roses, my eyes are very, very heavily on it. The eye of Saruman is looking at it and thinking, if you don't start pulling your weight, young Bathsheba, Sheba, I'm afraid you are on your way to the compost heap in the sky. Anyway, those are my opinions of Bathsheba and I'd love to know yours. Please do leave me a comment below. I'll see you again soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.